Welcome to another edition of Greeley Water Wise. I'm Sean Chambers, Director of Water and Sewer Utilities for the City of Greeley. And today we're here at the Funplex and we're going to talk about non-potable irrigation water. The non-potable irrigation water system delivers raw, untreated water to the parks, gardens, cemeteries, and other outdoor irrigation demands throughout the city. And it's the city's ambition to extend and expand that system. The system of non-potable irrigation uh, is deep, like our roots here in Greeley, it goes back to the start of the Union Colony. This country was covered with ditches, laterals, headgates, and small storage reservoirs that delivered water to crops throughout our history. And as the city grows over that farmland, we're using that same infrastructure to deliver water to our outdoor irrigation demands that create the quality of life and the open space we enjoy here in Greeley. So today on WaterWise, we're going to talk through some of the fundamentals of the non-potable irrigation system and why it's an important strategic piece of Greeley's future. Question one, why do we call some water non-potable? It's because it's not for drinking and it hasn't gone through our water treatment plants to meet the drinking water standards. Non-potable water is supplied through ditches and ponds similar to what we see here. The City of Greeley has a program in which it uses untreated and non-potable water to irrigate parks and ball fields in different areas throughout Greeley, similar to the Greeley Funplex shown behind me. As we move forward, the City wants to increase our non-potable use significantly to help conserve costs for residents. This helps the City conserve water that we know we'll need for future growth. Currently, the state projects that our population will be over a quarter million in the next 25 years. Using more non-potable water will help the city keep prices for its residents low and proactively conserve water during dry times. Question two. I've heard Greeley has rights to more water than most any other northern Colorado city. Why not just use the water we have? Using untreated non-potable sources of water for irrigation rather than treated potable sources saves our customers money. Not only do customers save on the cost of treating that water supplies, but acquiring non-potable sources is about $25,000 per acre foot cheaper than acquiring potable sources. In addition, Greeley is able to stretch our water supplies by using local groundwater and indirectly reusing our wastewater for outdoor irrigation. While the quality of non-potable water is less than treated drinking water, it is still perfectly safe for outdoor irrigation. Greeley maintains a large network of facilities to deliver non-potable water throughout the city. Behind me is Pooter Ponds, which is our primary storage reservoir for non-potable water. We also maintain the Greeley Number no. 3 ditch, the Boyd Irrigation Company ditch, and a variety of other sources, our facilities. Our non-potable system ensures that our customers receive the right source of water for the right use. Question three, if the city's going to rely more heavily on non-potable water in the future, why not require non-potable water everywhere, even for residents? So as the city grows, we're gonna require a lot more non-potable water and make a lot more investments in the non-potable irrigation system to ensure that we're providing long-term cost-effective supplies. We're applying the best water to the appropriate use, meaning applying lower quality, lower river water that doesn't have to be treated to outdoor irrigation demands. And in turn, that ultimately ensures that we have long-range water supply security, enough drinking water for our community and we're not using drinking water supplies on outdoor irrigation. So ultimately what we're trying to really do here is protect the citizens water supply, protect them against cost increases and ensure that we maintain this healthy urban forest and a landscape aesthetic that makes Greeley a really great place to live. Thank you for joining us again on another edition of Greeley Water Wise. I hope you've enjoyed learning about our non-potable systems and our planning and the strategic importance of non-potable water in the community. There's more information available at greeleygov.com and I look forward to joining you next time.